Did you know, everybody? Welcome back to another upload. If it's a dire thing, Rob here. Thank you very much for hitting on to this video. Before we go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe and the notification button. This way you'll always be up to date on everything I do. So today I'm in the Jeep. Woohoo, jeeping it out, man, with a whole bunch of people. Actually, we are on uh, Thanksgiving Sunday here of 2022, and we are about to do Pencil Lake Road. Yeah. We are now just coming into the absolutely gorgeous fall colors here and I am with a group, a, a group of off-roaders within the Toronto GTA region. Uh, a, there's like 109 uh, members of this group, or actually it's more than that, but today um, we're all getting together and we are all going to enjoy the trails, scenic route, back road, off-road trail, uh, fall colors of Pencil Lake. So um, I just kind of skipped up ahead here because I, I needed to get some gas and use the loo uh, while everybody, they're still in Bob Cajun region there. So they're gassing up there. That's a lot of vehicles. Um, we're 25, I think was my last count. Um, <laughs> That's a lot of vehicles for a convoy. Uh, but you know what, it doesn't matter because it's all about the fun and it's about getting out and actually enjoying the, the scenic route. So nevertheless, I'm now just simply waiting on for the group to catch up. And once I see the convoy coming, uh, we'll switch cameras onto this one here and we'll head up north and get onto Pencil Lake. And that's where the trails are gonna begin. So stay tuned guys, have fun, enjoy the ride. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes, man. <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, <laughs> there's a lot, there is a lot of people here, 17, there's a lot, 18, 19, there's got to be at least 26 people, if not more, so 19, 20, 21, I still haven't even seen the Jeeps yet, so it is busy, 22, and then there's a couple of rams, a couple of jeeps here. So my God, yeah, it's a, uh, it's gonna be a busy, 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 busy day. <laughs> so, and then we got a couple more, <laughs> and the group continues. All right, so that looks like it. I'm probably now at the back end of it. I didn't see any other Jeeps except for the Gladiator. So what the heck is going on here, right? All right, so I presume we're just gonna keep going a little bit and then uh, gotta find a spot where we're gonna probably air down there and all that. So it's a uh, definitely absolutely beautiful day here on a lovely fall afternoon with a whole bunch of off-roader dude guys. Why am I right at the end? Shit, I don't wanna be at the end. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. We'll probably have a small meet point, a stop point, and then uh, air down section. There you go, man, check it out, man. I actually, actually got an awesome lunch here. So with this group that, uh, again, I don't have the name and I hopefully I can get the name of this actual uh, off-road riding group here. So we've just gotten into Pencil Lake Road here. And uh, as, as we're just about to air down and prepare ourselves onto the actual trip, uh, everybody's kind of coming as a community and having lunch together, which is absolutely fantastic. So for the most part, I'd have to say it's all four runners here. So I was figuring we'd have a lot few more jeeps but ah, it doesn't matter anyways this is a uh, definitely a a memory ride of the lifetime here with the guys with the, the toronto region but here take a look guys like this is absolutely fantastic so that's community that is awesome community that's the off-roading people within the toronto region everybody gets together everybody enjoys the kind of lifestyle being able to get off onto the road and just having some fun so anyways let's get our rig set up aired down ready to go hit the trails and let's see what it comes out of all right cheers all right so now we're actually freaking on the trail here of pencil lake road so this is right at the beginning so this is the very easy part uh, 
of the trail. So we are now the most uh, further, furthest south of Pencil Lake. Um, so yeah, it's just a couple of little steps and rocks and stuff like that, and nothing too, uh, nothing too spectacular, nothing too uh, uh, crazy there. But uh, yeah, so this is actually just the beginning of it now. So we're having some fun. We're starting to get into a little bit more rougher terrain here. It's starting to get that. Luckily enough, it's still fairly dry. Um, so, because that would kind of make a, a serious mess if uh, it was getting wet with the leaves. Um, would just be slipping all over the place here. But uh, for the most part, everything is going okay. Um, yeah, so much easier to do it with a bike. I remember Sage, she actually jumped off of that, <laughs> jump up, upping, jump up that little rock there, that flat step that we had there. Uh, but for the most part, I still can't believe that that Volkswagen Touareg is still up front and is still going. That That is just beyond me. I will make sure that we get some pictures and some footage of that thing. Uh, later on here as, uh, as we progress through the video there but uh, yeah now we're starting to get into the actual uh, trail portion of it here so yep yep enjoy joy fun fun all right so this is the famous bridge here on one of uh, uh, the last videos there with the uh, that you're able to see coming through here So I went down and as, as the boys went across, right? I guess this is the first break spot there that's all that yeah that's the um that's the first water crossing bridge there that we did with the bikes here so there you go uh we'll see what's going on here let's see what we can do with this oh that was too easy that was a <laughs> that was a big bit of a step too so <clears throat> Get her back into neutral. I can put the four wheel drive back onto high. There we go. Let's make sure everybody gets up. Just gonna watch behind us. Here we go. Yeah, we're good. Wow, a lot of these guys, just regular ground clearance, are, are still making it up through. I can't believe that. And, uh, and even that uh, Toyota Land Cruiser, the Toyota 4Runner up front. Um, stock tires, stock height, uh, just the regular, I, I don't even know if it was the TRD package. Um, he got up here too, so there you go, it's not bad. John, I think, honestly, with your car, um, I totally think you could do this. Totally think you could do this. Wow, I didn't believe, I didn't realize how rocky, full of slate, this place is. Okay, good. We got some people that are going to be spotting. Right, so this is the first official one of the water crossings. Um, I remember this is the bypass, so that's nothing, there's nothing there. 
except for all this water makes me want to go pee pee. Uh, oh, oh. No. Photo shoot, photo op. <laughs> That's nice and deep. was deep all right here's another uh, fairly decent obstacle of water oof rough stay on the high ground Let's go this way. Thank I'm you. Waiting for the photo guy. Ah, photo man. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're around a quarter way through here and this is actually one of the first main obstacles here So uh, a couple of guys are actually challenging themselves and giving it a go here. So let's get a first-hand view of this Good guy, ah, you good guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the sticker power. <laughs> you just see it. <laughs> now that's how you do it, like a boss. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Oh, mud flap. Oh, you got it. All right. Tori went up left, so I'm going left. I mean, I got a lot more ground clearance than he does. So I'm going up this way. And I'm going to go straight up through here. There we go. Simple. Easy. At its best. There's a spooky guy. I got to take a picture here for uh, John and the boys. There we go. Spooky guy. It's the turn back now guy. Ready? The nice thing about going out and jeeping is that you're still in the comfort of your own vehicle and you can do all this while sipping coffee. <laughs> you can't do that on the on the, the bikes, but anyways, the Tenere is gone for now and, and uh, the only thing I'll be using uh, would be the uh, the DR through here, which again, it's, it would be a simple breeze. You'd just rip through this, but uh, yep. Tenere for now is gone, and so the only kind of off-roading overlander toy I have left now is the Jeep. But it's more than enough. It's enjoyable. I said I can go with the whole family and do this. And bring the barbecue and the dog and all that. And that's, uh, that's why I got the Jeep. Except for they haven't done any trails yet, so. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is the water crossing. This is the one, the only, the crazy, the massive, because there's the bypass there. But um, yeah, this is the one, guys. <laughs> Slowly. I can't believe that the Torag did this. Look how deep that water is. There you go, man. And that's how it's done. <laughs> Look at the audience. Oof. Bump and a bump. That's one way to clean underneath, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get over here.
There you go. Everybody survived. That's good. Now the rest is almost done. Very simple. Ah, you are good, man. You are you. You can go this deep, no problem. <laughs> hey, that's some good driving there, girl. Thank you. Ah, he's still sleeping, huh? Yeah, I know. Oh yeah. I want to see the Volkswagen guy. Yeah, he's the, he's the craziest. Yeah, Holy know. shit, man. We, we used to got a Porsche. Hey, he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to do a camera swap there because I don't know, either my file was getting full or battery's getting low or something on that uh, dash cam, so, or the dash GoPro camera. Oops, sorry guys. So now I've just done this camera swap here. So we've done the massive water crossing and now we're really almost getting up to the end uh what two and two and a half kilometers we will be at the uh, end of uh, pencil lake road and then going on to the fire access 72 so for the most part um it's all done so i'm hoping uh, that we're all gonna kind of park up somewhere and get a nice photo it'd be really really cool um and then just uh you know so we can say thanks to everybody and all that and uh swap out uh contacts and and so we can get all the uh exchange the informations and pictures and stuff and stuff and stuff so there you have it man so for the most part i don't think there's anything more too exciting that's going to come up here i think for the most part this is almost uh an easy walk in the park as I turn around the corner, there's this massive something, something, right? So, <laughs> so anyways, let's see. And hopefully, uh, yeah, it will be almost time to sign off here again. But uh, I really appreciate you, all of you uh, that uh, kind of joined up and uh, had a, a nice drive with us here um, with the S-Team, S-Team Toronto uh, off-road extravaganza group, which are absolutely a bunch of fantastic people, man. Absolutely awesome people. So, super cool. Oh, what's going on here? Got some vehicles turned around up here and this and that and all that. And Oh yeah, because this is the descent. I know, I know. Okay. Yes, this is a nice good descent. So he came up and he went down. This is... Not... <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a challenge to climb up here as well. This is not the, I, we should have went down the 72. I should have turned around and I should have went through the 72 instead of taking this. This is the E108 actually. This is an OSFC trail, snowmobile trail. Um, I mean, it's taken us almost to where we need to go um, on, on a main road, but yeah, this is still a, an actually a trail as per se and not a, not a, a road. So, or a fire access road. Um, so, one last climb. I'm just going to go straight up the middle.
<sighs> wow, I, I can't believe that that Volkswagen has actually done all this. Like that's, that is quite impressive. I am thoroughly impressed with that guy and his skills and the trust that he has in that machine to climb what he was doing. Okay, I can see that one boulder there. I'll go over with my tire. So I don't need to worry about the ground clearance. Well, I don't think there's going to be too much more after this. Like, <laughs> oh, wow, what an adventure today. What an adventure, guys. So, again. Oh, my knock sensor. I only use regular unleaded fuel. Maybe I need to uh, top up once in a while with uh, some uh, octane booster to help with the knock there, but uh, it's only when I'm in four wheel or if I'm really, really pushing it there. So, but for the most part, uh oh, why we's backing up. Still a lot of trail, eh? Wow. Could be the, the last 1.5 kilometer. Could be the, uh, Stinky water. So, could be the one that destroys us all. But, but again, hit that notification, hit that subscription, and feel free to put any comment down below if you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions. Keep it nice, y'all. But uh, there you have it, man. As as the sun is starting to go down, it is now five o'clock, five forty-four, almost six o'clock. Ugh. That's the stinky mud. So the sun is going to be going down very soon, but by then actually we'll be out onto the road. Uh, hopefully get ourselves aired up. And start hitting trek back home to the Toronto region, which is at least another two and a half hours to get home from here. By road. So, till next time. Be good, have fun, be safe, and don't forget keep it covered this is bonus of bonus footage because um <laughs> this trail just keeps on going holy smokes uh oh i got a call here oh, yeah. hello hello hi how did that little car right right how how i i it baffles me how he's done it you're still in the trails yeah uh, we're coming up to the end of them right now and uh, we did it did all of pencil lake and instead of turning um right we went left going up to tory hill so now um there's all sorts of stuff here that i gotta kind of climb up and <laughs> and uh <laughs> yeah oh wow yeah is, that... is the what was the water deep uh yeah it went all the way up to uh, past my fenders so Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So it's quite uh, quite impressive here. So let me switch you That's around. That's not an off-road vehicle, though. Huh? So that Volkswagen's not an off-road vehicle. He did it. He used to have a Porsche, and he used to do it with a Porsche, right? So yeah, um, it was the black or the white Porsche, right? Uh, black one. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the massive rock here, dude. Look at this. I got. I got to take a picture. Where are you? I got to take a picture. Wait, give me yep. a second. I got to. Yeah. Yeah. Give me three, two, one. I gotta take a picture. Okay, that's crazy. So yeah, I'm still, I'm still going at it. Wow. So, well, we should. It said uh, last time I checked, it said uh, uh, the end of the trail was uh, at 1.3 kilometers, but that kind of lied to me because it's still another trail so oh oh all right all but right. the trails aren't bad 
No, no, no. They're all very doable. So it's actually quite, it's quite easily. Um, oh, can you see me or not? I don't know what no, happened. no. I turned. You turned the camera off. Oh, sorry. I don't know how. Yeah. How do I turn the camera back on here? Oh, here. Go back into it. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Okay. Hmm. So, any problems with the jeeps yet? No, or no, no. There's only three of us jeeps, but uh, a lot of, lot of forerunners. Well, you've seen the pictures, right? So yeah. a lot of, a lot of Chinese with the forerunners, and oh, there we go. So there's and the a, trucks. There's a the house, uh, not a house, but there's a, a thing there. So it's, it's a be, side road now. Yeah, give me, give me one second. I'm just gonna put myself into neutral. Take myself off of four low. Yeah, yeah. Off of four low. Put myself back into four high or and too high. I can do this now. So yeah, I'm I'm around two and a half hours from home, north of home. Um, just got to oh, kind of. Shit. Yeah, we wouldn't have made it to work anyways. No, no, but you should have made it. You should have went to work yourself. Whatever. Right. So. I said whatever. All right. Whatever. Pay me more. Huh? Pay me more. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll have some effort to show up. All right. But, uh, wow, two hours still? Yeah, I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Okay, I gotta let you go. Yeah, yeah, figure your bye. way out. Yeah, Call me whenever. Yeah, bye. All right, see ya.